What's up guys? Ankle Spangin here and today we are playing I forgot my name for a second. But Ankle Spangin here and today we are playing as Aurelian Soul in the jungle. Now I know this will potentially be a second Aurelian Soul video in a row, but I did want to try and do this in the jungle. I watched some other people playing this champion and honestly I learned some things about playing him um, just from watching. I learned other things through that first game that I actually played him. So I expect this one to be much better. And I also decided that jungling with him sounded actually like a lot of fun. So I will be doing that. And this game just is a slight preview of what we're doing. I will not be going for a tier item, number one. Because I thought about it and it's just unnecessary. I think it could still be a good. I think it still has a place in his kit. But I think it's also unnecessary. Um, I do know about the QE combo now where you can fly with it as far as you can stay with it and that's one thing that a lot of people need to also uh, understand about the the Q on Aurelian Soul is the fact that it actually can so is it actually do more damage okay no it does I was wondering if it did more damage if I um, like stood in the like, like tried to keep um, the W just constantly hitting it on one. But anyways, the Q can actually go as long as a range at all. It can it can go as far as you can keep up with it. That's literally the range on your Q. Um, as long as you are in range of it. If you can keep that Q within the range of your outer ring is what I'm trying to say. Um, it will forever grow, forever travel. Whatever you want to say. But let's go ahead and... Well, accidentally, accidentally aggro these guys, actually, and see if I can move around a little bit, see if we can keep them all in the Ring of Stars, the Ring of the Cosmos. And we'll go ahead and just bop him one more time, one more time, there we go. And I'm going to go back real fast. So what I'm actually going back for right now is because I want to do a safer clear. Um, I might be able to do red, but it's really iffy, and I would much rather just grab uh, my hunter's machete and grab another potion. Now as far as smites go, I'm going to be going for chilling smite for the simple reason that it actually steals movement speed when you smite someone, so it'll actually help Aurelian soul in a lot of ways. Um, on top of that, we will, let's see how this works. Okay, so that's how it works. You could just kind of fly with it and boom! Go ahead and just fly right into that and there you go. So it's like a, f it gets to the point that it's like a massive Amumu ultimate just flying at people. I love it. But anyways, um, as I was saying, Chilling Smite, obviously Runic Echoes, is the other part of all of this. And we'll go ahead and expand our W here, get this thing hitting it, and pull it back in. There we go, just stun these guys up. And we'll get our potion ticking right now. And I gotta keep on kiting it just to make sure that it does stay in my passive to keep doing more damage. Now as far as uh, leveling up abilities and ganking goes, I'm thinking the best ability to level up on Aurelian Soul will always be the Q. Some people might argue, some people might argue, that the best ability for you to level would be your W because it does passively increase the damage on your stars. And while I can definitely see where people are coming from, Leveling up your Q actually increases the duration of the stun. Not, not, not only just the stun, but also the damage. It increases everything. So, in my opinion, that's pretty good. But let's see if we can get this guy. Never mind, we're totally not going to be able to. But maybe I can get this stun off going in and not going to be going. But you know what? Let's just kind of keep on traveling. So let the Spirit Bomb just pass on by. And we will just waltz our way on by. Throw a ward in here and grab this scuttle crab real fast. So throw the Q down just to make that stun lose its resistances so it goes down much, much faster. And get back to farming for now. So as you can see, if you can throw that E properly and throw a Q along with it properly, it's a very powerful ganking tool. Like I said, though, you obviously have to use it properly. The barred jungle ganks are coming in. So I'm actually going to need to uh, get my butt down there, see if I can help out. A counter gank could potentially be coming out here. And maybe... Never mind. So wait, oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. I'm going to go ahead and follow up behind him, just so Ari knows. I'm going to pin them on my way right here, so Bard will not be getting out of this one very well, unless 
Go, go ahead and stun him right there. That's some good damage coming out. Pop the W. That's going to be the Flash Charm. And boom, there's the kill. Nicely done. Ari picking it up. Way to go. And let's go ahead and see here. Not going to hit her. But... <laughs> Why? Why are the minions a bunch of dravens? <laughs> what? What are you doing, Draven? Or <laughs> Draven, Draven, Draven head? What? <laughs> what are they all doing that for? All right, whatever, whatever, dude. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go back here, though. And I can imagine my ganks will only get more and more powerful as I level up. So, let's see here. Grab the Stalker's blade. We're actually gonna grab our tier one boots, and then. The enchantment ruin geckos will grab the little amplifying tome for it. And we're going to see if we can get some good ganks off because I really am bloodthirsty. Now, I know that might not be the best thing, but let's see. Oh, Scion flying down mid. Here it is. Is he going to get it? And he misses, but he still gets the residual damage. The flash going to come in. And it looks like the bar jungle is there. Ari will get the kill. And here comes Bard as well. So maybe, uh-oh, there's the charm, but he doesn't have mana. So let's see. Wait, what? What? And bop. Okay, so I guess... I must have double tapped my E. I must have. There's no way around it. I literally must have double tapped my E. Because you are supposed to be able to go over terrain when you have your E up. And that was... That was the perfect gank coming at you. So I am 100% going to assume that I uh, <laughs> very likely just messed up. So can't really be led to assume much else there. And it looks like since Scion is about to back, he's being a lovely duckling and tanking it for me. So thank you very much, my friend. And we should be able to get this, no problem. Boop. Go ahead and get that stun. <laughs> the enemy Aurelian Soul coming in here is going to go down. Feel the steel of the stars. So, oh, oh, and three so far. We didn't even have to outplay anything there. <laughs> that little salute. Just going to go ahead and well, get these guys as well. So let's see. Let us see. If you guys don't know, uh, when you actually activate Aurelian Souls W, what it is is it's a constant mana drain. It's similar to Swain Alt in the sense that it's forever draining your mana. Um, actually, I'll, I'll explain the rest of this in a second. So let's go ahead and... Boom! That's going to be that stun going off, baby! Look at it! Get ulted right there! Slowing her down! There's her flash! I'm going to flash myself and maybe get the Q! Boom! There's a kill coming at you! And that was a good buster shot from Tristana. JK, not really. But it was a buster shot from Tristana, to say the least. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Q over that wall, just in case Aurelian Soul was trying to uh, come get me. But... Killing Caitlyn all on her own. She did use both of her summoners or heal. Go ahead and let them know the heal was also pops, and we'll show. We'll just do some more damage with our thing coming out. So go ahead and keep it right in that outer ring there, and let's see. So my E actually isn't back up yet, so I cannot just do another flying gank. But for now, we'll go grab our red. And actually, I'll be able to get my Runic Echoes right after that as well. So, terrific. We'll go ahead and do that. Looks like Ari doing a great job against this Nidalee mid. And I gotta say, as far as champions I haven't seen in a roll in a while, Nidalee mid is up there. Definitely up there. But, time to go back here. And as far as Zooms and Masters I'm using right now, I'm running 12, 18, 0. Um standard masteries. I'm running the 45% CDR mastery, just to, you know, clarify the one mastery that people would be confused on, but it's ability power, um, I can't think of this. In the offense tree, it's ability power, uh, the feast, feast, then, hold on, I, I could just put a picture up of this, but I really want to think of it myself. It's ability power, feast, and then, wow, that clear... I don't know, dude. It's 7.30 in the morning, I'm tired. I'll figure it out probably and do that thing that I always do where I figure things out and then remember them randomly and then talk about them then. 
So chances are you'll know. But uh, yeah, 1218. So let's go ahead and see here. Since Ari is actually not bottom right now. Or not bottom, but uh, is bottom right now. Let me go ahead and push this out. And let's see. Oh, hey. Hey, what the hell? Whoa, go away from me. Doing some big damage there. Dodge that spear. And come on. Eh. Get that stun off on him and get myself out of here. So, if I had actually land my stun on Nidalee, she was fucked there. But instead, I messed up, because I'm the worst. Literally the worst. But you know what? It is what it is. Go ahead and take these guys out. I did have to use my ultimate there, but, you know, it's better than dying. Much better than dying. So, actually, yeah, let's do this real fast. Let's do this thing right now, and then... What do I want to build this game? I'm thinking since I'm actually running the wrong runes, I'm just running like... I decided it would probably be better to run a rune page with armor in it since I was jungling. Um, but, so in that case, it'll probably be better for me to actually run... Um, the Penetration Mastery instead of the CDR Mastery. But that is okay. So we do have the Swiftness Boots. I personally think Swiftness Boots are way better than any other boots you can get on this champion. That Karma Auto Attack, though. And let's see, maybe we can get down there to help out. Echo will not land his stun. Karma will go down. And that will be the end of that. So I really doubt I'll be killing him. But we can still Spirit Bomb in style. Never mind, he's going to get out too quickly. So, I don't think I would have gotten him there had I, uh, had I used the combo. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll go ahead and push this out. Get some money for ourselves. Tax real nice and good. And boop. Get that one more. Whoa, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, Buster Brown? Can't just do that to me and expect to get away with it. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? I have swiftness boots. You motherfucker. All right? Never mind. I know exactly what he thinks he's doing. Wait, come on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, man. So the W is actually a wider range than my smite, uh, as we have literally just established. So now we know what this motherfucker thinks he's doing. I'm going to go for a Rylize next. Because basically... Wait, no, I'm not. What am I doing? What am I talking about? Rod of Ages next, baby. So let's see. It looks like Ace in the hole will get a kill, but Tristana will pick up an easy kill in return. So our first death will be a rather uh, silly one, if you will. Whoa, that Ari damage going in. Echo going to come down. Not really do Dilly squat, but, you know, he tried to look cool. And let's see, can we do this Aurelian soul coming in to try and help? But it looks like he's just kind of uh, dragging around. So maybe, is Echo going to try and go do his blue when he's this low? So let's go ahead and find out. His blue's not up. Anybody? Nope. Okay. No one's around. So there goes a waste of my W. I used my W on a little bit of a gamble there. So, like, my bad. But, you know, whatever. Go ahead and kill. Oh, wait, no. Echo's their top laner. Echo's not their jungler. Echo's their top laner. I totally forgot that their fucking jungler is barred. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, whatever. Go ahead and push this all out. Ow. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Jerk. Alright, whatever. Go do my blue. Echo, stop. Echo, stop. Go ahead and get stunned. Get charmed. That's going to be a big... Wow. That was a... Easy kill. Ari just really charming him up. Go ahead and pop the runic echoes on these bad boys right here. And we'll see what we can do. Because it looks like the Caitlyn is also uh, fixing to get murderized. So let's see. Wait, wait, here it is. Here's the play of the week. Here it is. Here it comes. And... <laughs> Gonna get him right there. Let's go ahead and use the W. She is... She crit me. Never mind. She's broke. That's gotta be a glitch. That's gotta be... That has gotta be a glitch. 100%. <laughs> There's no way. It's physically impossible for her to have those stats with no items. <laughs> OPB. OPB. So unfortunately, I got stopped in my E when I smacked this right here. Did a little less damage than I thought. 
and Caitlyn did a lot more damage than I thought she would. But uh, you know what? I can see where the potential is. So let's see it. Bard not going to get out here. He might take a tower shot. He will. And never mind. He's... I mean, he's trying to get out. He's not going to. My E's just about to be up. It looks like the stun from Echo is there. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Don't stand there. Echo's going to ult you. He's going to ult you. All right. There it is. Ow. He ulted me. All right. Whatever. Boom. That's going to be one kill right there. Go ahead and do it, pussy. And boop. So, uh, <laughs> Bard got out. <gasps> what? Dude, level up that E second, baby. It increases, not only does it increase the range, I knew that one, but it also decreases the cooldown. Oh, oh Pog Champ to the max right there, dude. That's, that's awesome. All right, are we not doing this? Are we trying to pull it down? Not doing this. <laughs> All right, goodbye, Bard. And here comes him. Boink. All right, no kill for me there. Let's see it. Maybe. Wow. <laughs> Gonna get that stun right there. And there's another kill going down. Such impending demise. But this dragon will also boink go down to the hands of the dragon of dragon of the stars, the bird dragon. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead and just, uh, you know, tax a little bit because I earned those minions. I earned those. And we'll go grab our red. And after we grab our red, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided what I'll do after that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see where the wild path of life takes me after I grab this red. So double tap it just to get that stun right in our face. And we'll be all gravy, baby. So let's actually, yeah, let's, let's do these real fast. Go ahead and murderize these little dumb burbs. And that will be... Whoa, Ari's in a pickle. <laughs> All right. Look down just to see her getting... Well, murderized. If I do have my ultimate, this could be good. Baiting directly into the Scion. It looks like they will find it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Whatcha? That's going to be a big burst of damage right there. Boom, baby. The triple kill coming out. Nicely done done me and i'm not gonna chase after this too much harder because nidalee can murder me but a triple kill in one big play that is the power of aurelian soul just coming out with a big ultimate there keeping them all in the combo and will murder so nicely done we'll go back on that note grab our rod of ages it looks like they are trying to duke it out karma is chilling there with scion and, well, I, I looked away, so there's not a lot more on my radar right now. But I'll go ahead and grab that. And I suppose I can wait for ten more gold and get the ruby crystal as well. But that triple kill right there is going to help us out a lot. Because we were kind of doing questionable plays. I was actually having a lot of effect around the map so far. Um, just, like, generally being everywhere. But having, uh, having a triple kill is going to help out a lot. So let's see. I'm actually going to fly down bottom and grab this. Because I can get well, pretty much all of it if I just fly in. So, wham. Spirit Bomb, give me your power! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was pretty rad. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out that whole wave just with one big old combo. And we'll do the same thing right there. So look at all these minions going down. Our ultimate ability is back up, and I'm not going to get that. But let's see. Whoa! Oh, whoops. <laughs> I totally forgot that used my passive there for a second. So Echo is probably going to try and go this way. Well, does he know? He's going to get bopped! <laughs> All right, so give fucking Bob. Nidalee going for it. We'll get the kill. She's gonna try and hop over this wall. Little does she know she's gonna find an Aurelian soul ready to smite her butt off, and that'll be an easy kill right there. And direct transition into me getting my boo buff. So please no, the red buff. Hmm. All right, screaming internally, but you know what? Never show your allies what pain you're in because then they'll think you're weak. So let's fucking... Let's kill this bitch instead. So here we go. Wow. Boink. Gonna miss. <laughs> I missed. What you gonna do? So unfortunately, when you're on target, you can't really change your target. 
other than, uh, Whatcha! Smack him up right there. Let's go ahead and do this. Knock the ultimate right there. And I guess he ulted right after I did. <sighs> Unlucky. Whoa! Scion going in, not fucking around. And let's see it. Maybe he can do something more. Maybe? Eh, no, he's dead. But here comes Ari. Gonna miss her charm, and she's kinda going in. There's the chrono break, and there's the old one more. You got it! You got it! And she's not gonna get it. She's, okay, never mind. She's totally gonna get it. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't know what he was doing there. But we got our needlessly large rod, and the Aurelian Soul did cancel our W. Canceled our awesome plays. But we'll head top here. Grab these minions for ourselves. Actually, Sion has teleport, but I still want him, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get him. I'm gonna go get him. But let's see. Fun fact: If you guys don't know about it yet, I'm sure quite a few of you have seen it. Um, if he, why? Why? Like, what's the point? No, I'm gonna fucking take these. <laughs> if you're actually gonna try and teleport top when I'm already there, just to try and get a wave that I've literally got under control. You out of your damn mind. That's the biggest waste of a teleport you could possibly do. But you know what? His funeral for his cooldown, not mine, bruh. Not mine. So we'll go ahead and smite that out. Hey, buddy. Hi. And womp. Go ahead and do that stun there. And I am still in the stun. But I'm not going to sit here and last in it. So let's see. Go ahead and throw the ultimate right there. Chrono break coming in. And I'm fucked. Holy shit. They converged on that really fast. Never mind, dude. Never mind. So this Aurelian Soul Support is doing a lot of work with his uh, with his utility potential. Instead of just using the raw damage that Aurelian Soul provides, he's actually just fucking me with CC. But you know what? It's only fair. Dragon on Dragon is hot dragon action. It's the Rule 34 that League of Legends community was searching for. Please don't link me any of the uh, real stuff. But, it is okay, 7-4-7, seven, and seven. we are, why is everyone's items just disappearing? <laughs> Alright, thank goodness, 23 minutes in, Tristana has two daggers, and there are her items again. They, she just, she bought all of those at once. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my red, and we'll see what we can do there. Unless Bard, I, I wish I could tell you what build he's going for, because I want to know myself. I really would like to know. So let's see, wham, here we go, gonna find out, let's see what's in store for the dragon. Are they doing it? And they're not doing it, okay. Well, wham, oh, it's ending there. Ugh, yes, we got one minion, perfect. <laughs> perfect. So Bard is actually in our jungle. What is he doing over there? Bard, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not gonna get out. Alright, you silly goose. You silly fucker. So what's... What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? So Echo gonna try and do it and whoop! Gonna go ahead and... I didn't even get an assist for that. I guess I didn't touch him with anything. Alright, whatever. Great job, me. Well done. Truly, just a truly incredible job. But after this dragon, we do actually have enough money to our fort... Our fort. Afford our Rylies. And then after the Rylies, I think I will be going for a, um... Let's see. Go ahead and grab that stun there, and boop! Not gonna let them steal that from me. Come here, buddy! Boink! Not really doing much myself there, but you know what? I tried to help. <laughs> and it's the thought that counts, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and, well, just continue to try our best here. So our E's stacking up very quickly. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use it, but wow, that range! That's ridiculous. So I know it goes up to 7,000 units at max level. Right now it is 6,000. So, definitely getting up there. And I will just clear my red. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab my Rylies. And we'll see how much work it does when you use it with your W. Because apparently the Rylies and the W synergy is pretty raunchy. So we're going to see if we can really kick it back. To really bring home the pain right on their faces. So, Comet of Legend, huh? I actually... Damn! I didn't even realize that. It also increases the passive speed you get when you're traveling in the same direction. That that amounts to a very high amount. 
don't know what I'm trying to say here, you know, like words and stuff, but you get what I'm saying? It goes it goes high. But anyways, let's see what we can do here. If we start team fighting, I can give us the nice initiation. So oh 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And it's not gonna come into the freaking no! Alright, I'm going. I'm just going. I'm going. Damn. <laughs> We can get that bigger. Before this game ends, I really want to see just how big I can get that. So, definitely going to give that a shot there. And let's see, maybe... I'm not going to go for a stun. Too many men there. Too many men. It looks like the Bard Jungle is going ham. And we will be slowing him down a little bit. Wait, someone has or has yet to take the tower. I missed! I missed! I missed the Q! I missed the... <laughs> not like this! But we did get the tower. And we will definitely mess up there. So if I didn't miss that Q, I think that would have gone a lot better. But instead, I missed the Q. And that was uh, kind of my downfall there. Kind of a large mistake, if you will. A very, very large mistake indeed. But what you gonna do? So, let's see here. If I can... I'm actually gonna try and charge up my E real fast. And then I'm gonna see... How big can get? Let's see the big Q. Boom! Scion trying to do stuff. God, I really should go help him. But what am I going to do? No, he's dead. Never mind. There's no way I can help him. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. He's he's a lost cause. But here comes Ari. She's someone that can help him. Maybe. All right. I'm almost... Uh, I'm almost level 18. And... Wow, wow, boom! That's a kill right there. Nailing him! That's gonna be the big smite! And just a little bit more! Bop! Boink! There's the double kill! Coming in! Nailing him with that hot and tasty spirit bomb! I mean, it was a mini spirit bomb, so it was kind of like a, uh... You know, kind of like a... Okay? What's a lower word for spirit? A psyche? It was a psych bomb. Your psyche bomb. Sure. I'll roll with it. I don't care. Sounds nice. <laughs> Sounds plausible. No! I missed the siege. The one minion I missed was the siege. Alright, rip siege. Bonk. I don't want it. I don't want it. Wait, I do want it. Come here. Come on. Mm, get tickled. Alright, she's got she doesn't like being tickled. I don't blame her, dude. I fucking hate being tickled. So let's see. Go ahead and murder all of these fools. And let's see, that'll be that. Whoa! Aurelian soul! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see why that's really easy to dodge. I can definitely see why that's really easy to dodge. <laughs> that's the first time I've had it, like, happen to me. Uh, that's funny. That's actually really funny, just how easy it is to dodge when you're on the receiving end of that. But let's see. Um, dude, maybe I can do something here still. Wow. <laughs> What? That didn't hit her? All right, come here. Get into that outer ring range. And, oh, thank you, Tristana. My girl. <laughs> so I think if you miss the Q, uh-oh, uh-oh. And, and, no, wait. Just tickle him. Tickle him with the ring. Come on. Just let him, just let him be tickled. Oh, not going to hit me with that ultimate, baby. That's the killing spree. And nicely, Aurelian sold out of the stadium. So, you know what? That was awful. I am I apologize. You know, I'm truthfully sorry. So what this bar is going to try and do, he's going to try a magical journey there. And, well, I'm going to die. <laughs> okay, so I kind of tried to get where he was. Oh, this red is up. Big HP, baby. Look at this damage, too. I can almost afford my full, um, full Rabidons. That's sweet. It's red. Rad to the max, and I guess I guess I pissed off the Krugs when I was sitting there doing red. My bad. My dang. But you know what? It is what it is. Let's go ahead and kill those guys. Clear out this little ward thingy that just popped in there. We're going to go farm just a little bit more just so we can get that, um, need this, er, the fedora. The fancy fedora. A.K.A. the Rabidon's death cap. So Ari will be... Fighting the Echo there, who for some reason thought he was tough shit. And realized very quickly, he was not. So, I mean, it's a good realization to have. 
but unfortunately he didn't have it any sooner. So I'm gonna kill Grunkalunk here, then we're gonna grab our blue, and then I'll have enough money for my fedora. And we'll be all gravy, baby. So, boink. Go ahead and kill those. This clear, now that I'm getting more AP, is just nasty. Like, even in the beginning, it's actually not bad. Like, I didn't think it would be bad, but it's really surprisingly good. Like, it's really good. Well, let's go ahead and grab our fedora here. My tip. Go ahead and get my, or excuse me, my AP. So, <laughs> doubling our AP effectively there. Lots of AP coming out. Let's go ahead and just throw the E out in the Q. And here I go. Wee! What's up, bitch? No, you saw me down. I can't believe you hit me with that fucking E. You're such a bitch. God, get out of my fucking face. Am I, I mean, get in my face. No, get out of it. Get in my face. All right, there's the E and... Eh. I missed the flash, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Eh. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I'm the best! I'm the best! I'm the great! <laughs> planned! It was all planned! Every bit of it was planned. From the very beginning, don't tell me it wasn't. I know it was. It obviously was. <laughs> Every bit of it was 100% intentional. So, <laughs> good job us getting another triple kill right there. That was a 1v3 damn near. So, great job. Great, great job. With 689 AP, we're doing a lot of damage. I think his Q may need to be toned down just a little bit. Something about it. Honestly, something with this champion, I truly think needs to be toned down. I don't know how much, but I think it does a little bit. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, here we go. Launch the E. Here we go. And fly into the base. So, no, nope. okay, no one was there. <laughs> Unlucky. No one wanted to be part of my extravaganza. So I guess I'll we'll just, uh, kill that. Mid inhibitor going down. Good job, team. And let's see what we can do. So our level 17, 689 AP. Here we go. Here we go. The slow has been brought down on that Caitlyn. The flash knockup. It looks like, oh, Tristana. Super jump going to slow her down. Kaboom. That damage. Throw the ultimate for the double kill right there. Come here, bitch. And uh, I'm fine. I was fine the whole time. And point. <laughs> okay. Not going to get that kill. We will get that assist. So go ahead and throw the W. Throw the Q. And I don't want to end the game yet, I really want to... I want to go back first. I want to go back, and I want to try and get a uh, big spirit bomb first. So I'm actually going to charge up my E before I go back here. So I can have that in the base. And now, we're going to do this... We're going to do it big, okay? We're going to do it as big as we can. I'm actually going to buy... I'm not going to buy anything. So let's see, throw the Q this way, and we gotta follow it, follow it. Okay, we're still in range, we're still in range, and we're still good, we're still good. And throw the E, throw the E, all right, come on. No, oh God, oh no. Okay, wait, we're still good, we're still good. Come on, here it comes, here it comes. What's up, board? No! <laughs> no! No! We almost had it! Get in my range, bitch! Get out of here! So, hang on. Hang on. What's that? You want some? Oh, gosh, she wanted some. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it! Alright, we were so close to being huge there. And I really wish I could see what items they had, so I know if I needed fucking... Goddamn void staff or not. I have no idea. But still, doesn't matter. We'll get our Landry's Torment to mat or, uh, cap off the end of this. And, do you get him that? <laughs> get him? Getting that max range Q is stressful, man. Stressful. Alright, let's see if I can. Maybe I can stack it up, like, while running out of the base. I don't know. 
2350 gold. We only need 50 more. It looks like Tristana. Bop! That's one kill. And that's going to be two. There it is. The buster shot. The knockup. Will it be three? I see three. Do I see four? Um, no, I don't see four-year-olds. That's inappropriate. Well, buy that full Landry's Torment. There we go. So now more HP, more penetration. We got that burn. And we also got 80 AP. So let's do it. Let's do it. Gonna go ahead and follow it. Here we go. Here we go. And wow. So I'm kind of going a little too fast. The E definitely, definitely looking gravy. So wow. go ahead and just keep on doing it. Keep on following. And there goes the E. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes to finish the game, brothers. <laughs> God damn it! Not gonna get a full one there, but that will be the end of the game. Nicely done! Aurelian Soul Jungle is the new hot thing, baby. Will be a great game. 16 and 6 at the end of that. And we were able to look at how big that Q gets. So 16, 6, and 10. Second most gold in the team. And let's look at this damage. Oh, barely behind Tristana. Daggummit. But you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. So, a great game overall. Honestly, if you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and favorite. Really does help me out. I do think Aurelian Soul is actually a very good um, jungler. Like, a lot better than I thought he was going to be. Very good. And you guys should definitely try it. But, anyways. Um... If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. I'll throw you in the description below this video. And as always, excuse me, I had a burp. I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!